Okay, so I just tried to set a record for the most amount of hours worked in the two-day stretch. So it's now Friday, and I haven't even started looking at the books that I got on Wednesday, New Comic Book Day. But let me at least run through the list. And I got a couple of boxes along the way, too. And we'll talk a little bit of MCU. Why not? Stick around. Well, welcome back, family. Thank you so much. It's now Friday evening, and yeah, like I said, I just put in some really serious, crazy hours uh, to resolve some issues at work, but hopefully all that's taken care of, and uh, I can actually get to the world of comics, which is where I really wish I could spend all my time. Um, I actually did pretty good on my poll list. Uh, I wanted to get uh, certain books, and the only ones that I really was unable to secure would be the one I said uh, every... Um, stray dog that wasn't nailed down, but they actually had no copies of anything. But uh, I mean, I wanted to pick up my copy of the, the this version of Noctera, which number five, I believe. Yes, and I got that. I have not had a chance to read any of this stuff yet. Um, this is the uh, Mamo. They did not have any regular issues, but he did have the uh, the Virgin variant, which was really not a um, a high price he was asking for it, and I was really really happy to grab it. So I said, "What the heck?" It's one of those ones that you just put on the side and, and hope for. And um, it's funny because I actually had two books on my pull list that I didn't even remember that I put on the pull list and I forgot all about them and everything else. And that's uh, Life is Strange Coming Home from Titan Comics. I got cover A and cover B. And we'll see how these things uh, work out. Um, yeah, actually, interesting artwork. I'm really digging the colors and the use of artistry on this one, though. It's really nice. We'll see what happens. Uh, I did get my Skybound X in the copy that I wanted. I did get my Ordinary Gods in the copy that I wanted. I did get my Basilisk Chapter 2 in the copy that I wanted. They did not have the one at 25. It was already gone. I got my uh, X-Men. I picked up the variant version because it was actually just about the same as the regular, but just slightly at the top and in person. I liked it a little bit better. Uh, that way I could read that. And I didn't get what I wanted, but in a way I did. So I got the uh, Re uh, Red Sonia, black, white, and red. Now, as if you remember, I said I wanted to get the cosplay one. And I mentioned it to uh, him over there at Syndicate. And he said that he quickly checked. He goes, I can still get them if you, if you want. I said, yeah, sure. Uh, he said, how many copies? I said, you know, just give me three. I'll just take three copies of the regular cosplay version. Uh, I wasn't buying 25 to get the, the virgin variant. Um, I just I thought that was a really cool cover. So he's going to get those for me at cost, and I'll have them next week, which is going to be great. Uh, I did get uh, two boxes, actually three packages. I can't call the other one a box because it wasn't. It was in an envelope between three, um, two pieces of cardboard. Unbagged, all the bags, the bags and boards you see on this is because I put them in it. It just raw comics just popped right out. I got five copies of Never Never number one. Um, I haven't even checked the values on this since I ordered this a few weeks ago, but everybody was talking about this, and I was able. I found a place online that uh, had uh, copies still at cover price. Uh, all my L LCSs were sold out, so I grabbed five copies, and um, definitely I, they didn't charge much for shipping, and I see why it was horrible. But uh, this is a copy here of something I was able to pick up uh, a raw. And I'm hoping that this can get, get added to submissions. Do -do -do. Oh, bubble wrap, where have you been? At least it's been on popcorn. We all know that I'm not, not, not a fan of popcorn. If anybody's wondering why I'm not enjoying my nice drink tonight, um, I plan on doing that as soon as I finish with this video. It's just that... Um, what I'm planning on drinking is something that, um, in many states, is considered. Hmm, how do I say this without like incriminating myself? Hypothetically speaking, if you had a friend that had uh, large metal containers in his backyard and and made his own kind of stuff, you know, you know this kind of stuff that like when you turn off the lights it shines. Uh, you don't want to be caught on film actually drinking it. So anyway, I was able to get a nice copy of. Uh, one of the versions of Department of Truth. And this is another one of those books that's really going up. I'm pretty sure this is a Frizen cover. It just looks like her lines. So I believe that's why I got that. So I have one other book that 
the box actually got delivered today <laughs> and or yesterday yesterday <laughs> it's a long day i never came home yesterday actually i was still at work and they left a notice uh, that's a, a signature required and i'm like what the heck did i order now if any of you have followed reggie collects he recommends a site called short boxed and you can see the packaging that they use uh, there's a slab in here so everything is really well packed um what short box is um a lot of times people don't want to go to like craigslist and uh facebook and uh you, yeah yeah you sure you send me 150 dollars and i'll send you that slab well is there buyer's protection you don't know the person do you worry about it short box kind of acts like a middleman broker if you will. and um I believe the fees are much less than eBay, but they only deal with slab books. So that way they can verify. There's no disputing whether something is. And uh, Oh, that's right. I was like, I, and I, I'm doing all this talking. And I'm like, I can't remember what it was that I actually got. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I'm actually really happy I got this. It's a lower grade. I don't care. I wanted to get this book. This is one of those books that I wanted to add to my collection for a while. And... This was, it's a lower grade, but I think it's going to shoot up, especially with uh, Black Panther number two coming out. And this is the Iron Man and Submariner, and a 2.5 off white to white page. Um, this one actually predates Submariner number one, and I believe it pre predates Iron Man number one. So now I have the Submariner number one in a 3.0 CGC. I have a 2.5, sorry. 3.0 CBCS. 2.5 in the, for this book, someday I'll actually get the Iron Man, and that, this uh, once uh, this little banner head, that was like a trio that they had for the three books, and I'll be able to complete the trifecta of those books. But two out of three down, of course, they're the cheaper of the two, of the three. But, uh, well, you never know. I mean, if Submariner does, uh, they have the character, if they do wind up with that kid that's in the preview for Returnals turning out to be a young Namor, and he does appear in um, Black Panther 2. Who, who's to say that the Submariner books don't shoot up to the Iron Man prices? Because I remember way back when getting an Iron Man number one was like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, way back when, like old times. So, hopefully everybody had a great week. Um, I did watch uh, Loki. I did see it Wednesday night, thankfully. And... Yeah, this episode I really liked. This episode I thought was really good. Uh, the first four episodes to me were, they weren't bad. They, they were, I wouldn't call them greats. They were good. They were a step above meh. <laughs> I mean, I probably put it on too high of a pedestal because I was expecting too much. But episode five, I think that maybe they had a certain budget for special effects and they wanted to save a lot of it for... Um, episode 5 and who knows what's going to happen in episode 6 remember this season is only 6 episodes and incidentally the um, I did look online and there is going to be a season 2 what everybody's trying to figure out is ne next week's episode is there going to be a big reveal everybody's saying it's going to be Kang it's going to be Loki it's going to be some people are saying Immortus which I'm I, that wouldn't break my heart too much I've got the first appearance of Immortus up there um I don't know if it's going to have a big reveal of anybody because, I mean, we ha we were expecting big reveals in Falcon and Winter Soldier and in WandaVision, and we were 0 for 2. I got a feeling we're going to be 0 for 3, guys. I think they're trying to just make the shows good on their own, that they don't have to bring in a brand new character every time just to satiate our crazy demands and our... <laughs> Uh, our uh, hope that uh, spec books will shoot up. They're not making these shows for spec for comic book spec books. They're creating them to build an audience that will last them for a long period of time, and I commend them for that. Now, who is in that? You know, if anybody hasn't seen episode five, I apologize. I'm gonna uh, not. I might have a little thing in the end scene. There's something that's depicted, and then the question is: Is there going to be a big reveal in that spot? Okay. Um, I think that's vague enough that it shouldn't spoil it for anybody. Uh, everybody's been saying, oh, Kang, Kang. Everybody's been saying Kang or Mephisto for <laughs> three shows now, three different uh, series. Um, there are some people even saying Doctor Doom. It's not going to be Doctor Doom. Um, I think it would be ridic yeah, ridiculous if it was. I'm not saying the people predicting it is ridiculous. I'm saying I think that Mar Mar Marvel, MCU, Disney, would it would be ridiculous if they did that. Uh, it's not the way you want to bring in the Fantastic Four. 
but it could be something. It could be someone. But more to the point, though, if you have not seen the uh, full, uh, uh, what do you call it, trailer for What If, I saw all these um, reaction videos popping up. And I'm like, okay, I can't watch any reaction videos until I react myself, you know? And I watched it, and man, I couldn't breathe. I could not breathe. I never got so excited and blown away from watching a um, an animation preview before. And all the things that I used to read one when I was a kid. And one of the things about what if, if you were not around at that time, was they had, I mean, there was a good following. It wasn't the best selling book. And it wasn't because the stories weren't good. It's because they were centralized to specific things. So, first off, uh, you, they, made, they had one that, what if Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four? Well, if you weren't a fan of Spider-Man or Fantastic Four, which was rare, but I'm just using it as an example, then you had no interest in buying the book. And if you were a fan of Spider-Man or Fantastic Four, you also had to be a fan of alternate realities, alternate storylines. So, it was uh, a section of a section of a market they were targeting. The next one might be, what if Daredevil never went blind? Or what if Elektra lived? Okay, now you're targeting Daredevil fans because the fans that only care about X-Men are not caring what happened in the Daredevil universe. It, like I said, it was a niche of a niche. But I used to read them because I read a lot of different titles and I found the idea of alternate reality and what if to be, you know, uh, I, I disagree, I think it would be this. And the whole idea of The Watcher was really, really good. And they they hit on a few of them that I can't I'm like oh my god I can't believe they're doing this uh, if you haven't watched the, the trailer yet you, you, you've got to I mean they're going through scene after scene I'm like oh no way they're doing Marvel zombies seriously <laughs> I'm freaking out I can't believe it I watch a couple of trailer videos I watch one person just lose command of the English language okay uh, what's her name Julie Louise Louise Ju something like that uh, great videos great reaction videos also reacts a lot to the Bad Batch big Star Wars fan and at one point, what came out of her mouth was, I get the cock And I'm like, wait, rewind that? What? <laughs> what language was that? <laughs> I was cracking up. So was the missus. So, as much as this week was crazy for me, we still had a lot of things to distract me, which was really good. Um, Bad Batch I watched today. And, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I, I, it's... I had another character reveal that I'm glad to see is making it into the Filoni verse and the storylines in general. And of course, this weekend, starting today, is Black Widow. And again, I'm going on Sunday, it's just the way my schedule worked out. I couldn't guarantee tonight. Obviously, it's already almost nine o'clock. And tomorrow, who knew? As it is, I'm planning on being hungover tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm not a lush. It's just that uh, I'm trying to ensure that if they call me to go back to work, I legally can't go. How about that? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, but anyway, did you guys get the pickups that you were looking for? Did you get to see Loki? Did you see the trailer that I want for the what if? I'm really glad to see that it was a trailer that said coming out on August 11th. I'm like, hey, it's a month away. It's not like coming in 2026. Yeah, those have been annoying me. You know, yes, here's a trailer for it. Get you all excited. Then you see it's coming out in a year. I don't want to see some. I know. I, I want it. I want it now. I want it. I want it now. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. So let me just wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you got a little laugh out of this. You like and subscribe to the videos. More importantly, don't forget to uh, to check out the 500 subscriber video. It's for the uh, 9.8 uh, Venom Manual number one signed by uh, Kate and Stegman. And uh, the link is here for you to go. Make sure you're a subscriber. Watch the video. Click like. Leave a comment. Make it clean. I hit 500 subscribers. I give the book away. Then when I hit 750, the next book goes away. Um, other than that, though, I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you have a greater weekend. And as always, I'm out. <laughs>